Okay, so sticking with the same idea, we're going to keep the same groove pattern over on this side with the three side coming uh, over from the X hat to the snare drum. But this time I've got some Octoban type samples on the SPDS um, to kind of create that Simon Phillips uh, pattern that you might have seen him play in some of his solos. So a little bit of a Simon Phillips influenced uh, motion and idea here with a groove behind it. Around about a decade ago, I started my first production company making drum tutorials for various drum magazines and online content. Uh, pretty much in the early days of kind of making these videos and things like that. And it, I came across something called a GoPro in around about 2010 to 2011 through a photographer uh, called James Cumpsty. He used to make video content and take photographs for these drum magazines. And the beauty of a GoPro was that you could put a GoPro above the drummer's head um, and it would take in the whole drum kit because it had such a wide angle lens, you didn't need a, you know, 30 foot ceiling to be able to get the whole drum kit in. And I was kind of completely blown away by this thing. So. Uh, because I was making my own online content, I went out and bought one of these, which was uh, one of the first uh, HD uh, Heroes. And then shortly afterwards, I went out and bought one of these, which was the Hero 2. Uh, this was around about 2010, 2011. And um, let's have a quick look at the, the GoPro timelines, try and get our heads around some of these products, because things have moved on an awful long way since this thing. Now, not many people are aware of this, but the first product that GoPro bought out in 2004 wasn't actually a digital camera. It was a 35mm film camera that came in a waterproof housing and you wore it on a wrist strap. Then between 2006 and 2008, they bought out three different digital cameras. The first one, which is called the, the GoPro Digital, and that had a limited uh, 10 second uh, film time. Then they bought out the Digital 3, which was a 3 meg camera, and the Digital 5, which was a 5 meg camera, the last two of which you could film for longer sequences on. And then finally in 2008 they bought out their first HD camera uh, which was just called the HD Hero. Then in 2011 they bought out the Hero 2. And then between 2012 and 2019 they released the Hero 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and finally in 2019 releasing the Hero 8. And so it wasn't until I started this channel that I suddenly thought that it might be a good idea to upgrade from my Hero 2 to whatever the latest one was, which was the Hero 7 at the time. So I bought one of those and I used it loads on runs and bikes and, and, and all kind of things that you would have seen on this channel if you've been watching it a while. Um, but around about Christmas time I managed to write that off uh, and it was a bin job effectively. Um, and I also have one of these which is an Insta360 ONE X, which is a 360 camera. It's got, um, got a lens on either side of it. And this is a brilliant bit of kit as well. The, the bike footage that you'll see later on was filmed on this it means you can kind of rotate uh, in post-production uh, and do some really cool things with this but uh, I did miss my GoPro and uh, and so I, I ordered one of these and this arrived uh, this is the Hero 8 the latest one this arrived in the last week or so uh, and all the swim footage that you're about to see was filmed on of that as well but it did get me thinking about the GoPro and how throughout my life um, I've just taken it with me and just filmed stuff um, whether that's family holidays gigs I've done festivals I've played at traveling that I've done um, you name it uh, it's ended up on a GoPro and I've got tons of hard drives of footage from uh, both work and personal life that um, I decided to go through and find as much GoPro footage as I could and uh, put together a little one minute or so montage of just sort of how the GoPro has managed to allow me to kind of uh, document the things that I've done in my life uh, and here's a little snippet of some of those things.
So this is uh, this is Joe McCready, and this is Alec Richardson, who I mentioned. I actually mentioned you on last week's Alec, uh, your book. Oh. And these guys have both swum all the way from over there. Actually, is it directly over there? No, it's that way. That it's way. that way over that way, yeah. Panath, yeah. where there's another pier like this one to here, which is what 15 miles, 16 miles, 14.8 miles. <laughs> 14 this is my miles. second my second They're appearance about. on the uh, James Hester vlog. It is. God, you did um, years ago. I'm aware there's been a lot of swimming on this channel over the last couple of weeks but I know a lot of people can't get out and swim at the minute and uh, obviously the pools have been put back again by the government which is a bit of a nightmare but um, yep off up to Lady Bay and back down to the pier again this morning hopefully avoiding some of the boats and the jet skis that are around well here we are in Lady Bay that took some considerably Less time than when I did it last week. So, uh, 16 minutes to get here, 1300 meters. That's uh, yeah, a little bit less touching than the last time. And where everyone else is, I got something wrong here. I hope not. Anyway, beautiful day. Nice to see the people that come down to Cleveland and visit a lot of beautiful village, town, wherever it is. Can uh, clear up after themselves. Just take your rubbish home with you if you uh, can't get it in the bin. Early. It is early. <laughs> ah, I see. So when you said come down for a swim, you didn't tell me it was all the fast guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> morning, Sunil. Hi, James. Martin. Hello, mate. Ali. It's the team. It's the team. It's Ross. The team. Today, is it? Me, yeah. Oh, well, Brett, oh, I've got a swim skin on. Oh, have you? Yeah, couldn't pass up the opportunity. Oh, it's just nice, and the water quality is good now. Yeah. Well, excellent, I should say. <laughs> yeah, no, I trust them. They... I trust them, I just don't oh, yeah. know how. It's, a, it's, it's the UV. Is it? Yeah, really? it's the UV, it makes all the difference. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Come on. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> So at swim at number three in the can this week. I actually felt like doing a bit of training this morning. Met up with uh, four guys from Masters, all of which are a couple of lanes up from me, fast swimmers age group her and all that kind of stuff and uh, felt good bumped into Sam Pictor and uh, Brett Halliwell who were practicing some race starts again so I did some uh, countdowns for them so all in all a lot of swimming this week 
than how many meters, who cares? I'm um, starting to get that feeling when the water's like buzzing through your fingers and past your face. I love that kind of it just feels so good uh, to get that back again and a couple of bike rides. So this is what happens when you swim in a wetsuit a lot, like I have this week. I always seem to get the same problem in the same wetsuit. Just can't seem to get sorted. Anyway, the last swim this week was another Lady Bay from the pier and back again. And the swell was massive, really good fun. Swim out with my mates again. And uh, yeah, take a look at the footage. Hello. You knew it'd be fun. It's fun. Is that right for you, Sarah? Ah, it's fun. It was an experience. You all right, Ryan? Made it then. Hey? <laughs> the JB's made it. Yeah, JB's Yeah. Do you right? Yeah. Fun. So this week's been pretty solid for me in terms of swimming, as you can see, lots of that. A couple of bike rides in there as well, one on the turbo, one out on the streets, um, which was really good fun. I'm still not running because uh, of the, the, the worry with my plantar fasciitis in my heel. It is feeling better, but I know from experience of having it in my other foot uh, that the worst thing I could do at the minute is get out and run too much on it. So I'm gonna go for a big bike week next week. That's my plan. I've done a big swim this week this week. I'm gonna go for a big bike week next week. And then hopefully if I maintain the stretching, I can go for not a big run week the week after that but I can start running again that's the plan with that so far and also managed to get a little bit of coaching in now that we can coach. Uh, we could do one-to-ones, obviously safe distance. Uh, we could do one-to-five sessions as well. So I've taken a couple of people out this week um, and done some run uh, coach sessions with them, which has been really enjoyable. And to be honest with you, that about wraps it up. A bit of swimming, bit of bike riding, bit of coaching, bit of all the other kind of stuff that we get up to at the minute. Um, and we're going to be going back into kind of shielding uh, with our personal family circumstances we've got at the moment. Uh, we've got about another week until we have to go back into shielding uh, for the foreseeable, really, probably until about Christmas time. So we're just really trying to enjoy uh, meeting up, distance from our friends and kind of chatting to them and all the rest of it. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. This video. I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of the GoPro history, some of the amazing swim footage that I've done. I do genuinely love swimming with my friends. It's probably the thing that I've noticed the most about this week is that as much as I love riding my bike and running, um, and normally when I'm in the pool, we're being sent off so quickly that you don't get the chance to really chat to each other. Um, being able to kind of swim with my friends, you know, nat nattering away whilst we're getting into our wetsuits and swimming up to Lady Bay and, and having a chat when we get to the other end. Um, I do really uh, miss their company and that's been the best thing about this week was um, that big sea swim that we did 
uh, up to Lady Bay and back. Uh, and just to see all of my incredible friends and to any of you that are watching this, thanks so much. Um, some of you will never know how much uh, that meant to me. Uh, and for the rest of you, well, uh, get yourselves in the water if you can safely. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, any of the footage and you want to kind of continue to watch these videos, please consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell because that means that every Monday when I bring out a new video, it should, if YouTube does its job, um, uh, notif notify you about that. Uh, I bring out a video every Monday kind of talking about various different things uh, that I'm doing in terms of training for triathlon, which I've been doing since the, the kind of mid 90s. Um, and just, just chatting about all sorts of bits and pieces really. This week it was GoPro stuff. Next week it might be a psychology thing week after that it might be some training ideas the thing after that might be about lance armstrong and doping who knows what we might talk about each week but generally speaking uh, i just have a bit of fun with it and uh, and try and shoot some footage and uh, there'll be some more no doubt on one of these gopros uh, coming up in next week's video have a good week and i'll see you on the next one